flame will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Oh. Change? No. Damn it! Artists always a critical person of themselves. No, I'm moments away from a grisly death at the hands of this bloody song. I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her... I have an extra loot, if you want. Hmm. Let's see here. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Really pretty singing voice. I'll give her that. She does really well. Words of mine will turn to ash when you pull the last light down. Yes. Yes. I've actually never seen this cutscene. This is new and pretty cool. Sorry. 
It really was a beautiful song. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the noise coming. There was so much blood. I, I can still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse and make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn for her. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. I know there's a way that you can stop her from going in your camp because something happens to her later, but I'm not going to say I'm doing like a basic playthrough, I'm just kind of doing a simple. Okay, moving on. Oh, Mr. Bear. I can imitate. A Ooh, I never. See, this. This is why I like exploring different classes. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Oof. Okay. Well, worth a shot. Yeah, I'll take the inspiration. Better. Much better. Get me a drink real quick. Elevator. Speak. I'm so demanding, Dog. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Do persuasion. Oh. Okay. Not all enemies are outside our walls. Well, she has a very good point there. Find our master. Talk to the piggy. Oh, Miss Piggy. Koga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. She's a parasite. She eats our food. Drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. 
Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Please pass. Whew. Okay. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sivisif, deal out to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen will. Halsen isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. Yet she failed. That's what matters. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. ...in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just... ...something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so... ...I can manage. I don't think I ever got that Positive. far. You can trust me on that. I didn't realize I could level up. I'm do that now. Excuse me. Speak with animals. Actually, I'm going to do this real quick. Good to know I can edit my look if I don't like it. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I would, but you have so many friends already. In that case, I'd be happy to tag along. Not really caring for her attitude much.
Ooh, you got a lot. Assassin. I think I'm gonna go with Arcane Trickster. Excuse me. And I put that there. Hmm. Wizard spell. So many choices in this game. It's actually quite entertaining. We've already got a magic whistle. Kind of want something. Mm. the king. It's a Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I think you're a monster. <laughs> yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Jeez. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Steve. If you played as a druid, you had a lot more options for conversation. What do the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Everybody's so racist.
Christian. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. This may be kept. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. Yeah, what other tadpole is there? <laughs> no. Not like a frog hopped in my eye. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. in that vessel. Take a closer look. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Give Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still. We have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'm interested in the procedure, actually. Please, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Looking closer, you realize you've seen this thorn in the wilds. It's Kalimvor's kiss, a briar from the Dale Lands, and a deadly poison. I want to help you, but I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Victims can identify each other. Mm -hmm. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. Well, no joke. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Swear sure. it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out 
What the hells was going on? Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. But I am. Somewhat. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from mind flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halston heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halton and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure... ...is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad... ...remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why the reason? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Something over there. An antidote? Okay. I wonder if I can pick that thing up off the table. Nobody was the wiser. Water, boots. And I know I picked it up. That's the poison, toxin, healing, basic. I have a lot of poison. Brains in a jar. Hmm. Must have got moved somewhere. I better I'm missing it. I got a loot. Is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. Well, okay. These guys leveled up.
healing helps. Spiritual weapons always good. It adds an extra force on the field. Daggers be interesting. Darkness, old person, guess what? Flaming sphere. That's a useful one. Detect the dark vision. Visibility. Oh. Magic weapon. Acid arrow. Your image, misty step. Well, a large reduce. Well, to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin caught, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damn ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. Sent into a world gone mad. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Sylvanus's blessing upon you. And my gratitude as well. Halston is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Somehow I don't doubt that. Let's check the journal. I'll eventually go and check out the, um, get the Yankee uh, group. About it, I don't get kicked out of it. again and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her.
Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. Eh. Bells, it's our job to get us out of here safely. Not yours. It's my job too. The druids don't care about us. No one does. We have to look after Always ourselves. Always be nice. That's what Mole says. That girl. I don't care what Mole says. Stupid and reckless. It's fine, Mole. Little Mole. Is that Donnie? Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Well, dang, man. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Go check out down here. People. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? Won't turn down free money. <laughs> I've got operating costs you wouldn't believe. Come see sure me in the do. city sometime, huh? I'll repay this and then some. See you around, maybe. Climb up out of here. It's always good to try and do as many side quests as you can. I want to go find Zephlor before I do anything. Or I want to go find Halson, should I say. Let me go find Halson. Music is always so pretty in this game. I feel like I could put it on and go to sleep to it. Especially with that one song earlier. Aridin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. By all rights, he was a good man. I saw enough of him to agree. And I'm tired of good people dying. That's for sure. Let's get moving here. Climb down the ladder.
That's to say, you gonna open the door? So, do you have loves waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. <laughs> you mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short term amusements are much less hassle. Goblin tracks. Or, oh, you can practically smell the filth. This lead. Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Let's be careful. Whew. Yep, yep, we're we're leaving, we're leaving. Just gonna, just gonna rest right here. Talk to him. Oh, my, you startled me. I, uh, it's miles away. Of course. Of course. I was just practicing an incantation. Sure. Okay. I would have passed it out of the way, even if she I got does. a one. She's. She's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is and embodies. The weave. Mistra is all magic. As far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. Magic is. my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? Then follow my lead. Now you. I'll get it, no matter what I get. something strange like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time it's warm and comfortable excellent now repeat after me Arthran Mistra Real Kantrak Eo of rose water and a sense of well-being a sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue very good now i want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony as true as you can yes perfect for right there You 
see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman? The woman who hovered over Gale's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it! You're channeling the weave! How does it feel? Oh, I know. <laughs> the weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Something the matter? Fine. What's on your mind? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I... Time to get some rest. character looks like he's meditating. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red on the head. No, something's wrong. That's a different matter. Rare as can be. Oh. Dripping. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. An oil bear. Please, do you have any... Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brynner. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Hmm. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're. You're. A true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order. Start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well... You will firstly, Trussel. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. 
Oh, I like these two. All zeal and no brains. <laughs> I don't know any druids. Well, that, it was worth a shot. I'm sorry, true soul. I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the Absolute still has a great deal to teach me. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but... Anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. You! Uh, Brenna! Kill him! Uh-huh, that's what I thought. I feel bad for these kids. I really do. Out of the acid. And perform healing work. Sneak attack. What should I do? Get in. I hate to do that to the poor fellers. I really do. within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you.
Oh. Well, I barely made that. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. Continue walking this way. It never hurts to explore. Something the matter. Well. I didn't mean to do that. Pick up. Hmm. Let's see if she can take this. No AC. again. There we go. Right, everybody has some. Always good to have like a good split up or make sure everybody has health potions. No time to die. You never know when you'll need them. Just in case. I've never actually been in here. That stench. Dead out. Need something? Quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Whew. The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see oh. an owlbear cub. The owlbear stares 
then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now, or step closer, and die. Yep, nope, just leaving. We were just leaving. I'm not doing that real. I love animals, and I'm not gonna lie, that arrow owl bear was cute. But the thing of it is, is if you gotta basically force me into a situation where I have to fight um, a creature that's just protecting its pup. No, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go the other way. I am enjoying our walks together. Aren't you, Jack? Mm. Um, sure. In <laughs> silence. <laughs> Damn. Always helps to have guidance. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name Scratch. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand. His tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. boots on. Never mind. I gotta drop that. I just remembered I can Yes, I can do that. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate to star in? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. 
You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. Well, today's stream is going to be a little bit shorter than last time, just because uh, I've got some things I've got to go take care of, but I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch, and I look forward to playing some more with you guys next time. Have a good day, and always be positive. Life's too short. <laughs>